Ah, yes, a nice meal in the moonlight for our chicken god. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, I am Cory, otherwise known as Plain and Simple, and I've been sick. Uh, as of the time this comes out, I will have been better for a while, hopefully, and we found... Shiny. Uh, last episode we finished up our power build for all of our gigantic batteries here in the background over here, and today, I've been already working on some basic design. We're gonna start working on a base area. Throwing down a couple more markers for all of our resources, which there is a ton around here once again. So we got a little cordoned off place here to keep our slug, which you can no longer see now, on top of the rock. And I'm going to make this into a little, uh, a little habitat, a little biome, a little dome, a uh, terrarium, I guess you would call it. I think that's the name. This outside edge here is a good spacing to allow us to walk around. We'll eventually be putting walls up that we can see through, hopefully, because our ticket shop has some windowed walls. But we don't get damaged by any of this stuff. Now, if I were to build a little bit closer and start moving in, we take damage, which isn't good. Don't want that to happen. But this is going to be a beautiful little centerpiece for our main base. And now I just need to decide how I want this to work. So here's the idea. The master plan, the grand scheme. Um, I want to have kind of an intake floor where I bring in all of my ores and materials. And then as I build up floor by floor, start getting more and more complicated parts, possibly. So ground floor would just be a bunch of belts leading in. And then I'd have a whole bunch of smelters and then a whole bunch of uh, crafting bits here and there on either side. And honestly, I don't I don't really know how it's going to go. We're just going to kind of build as we continue now. Probably doesn't look like a lot's been done you all, but this has taken a little while. <laughs> My concept is to have the one raised layer. I'm kind of liking how that looks, so we have a walkway around the inside that we can get to with the ramps, and we're going to be unlocking more stuff eventually from sacrificing to the chicken. But, as you can see, I've raised it up a little bit, and I'm using the one meter high walls so that I can get some space underneath. If I do need to line anything down through, do anything like that, might remove the ground below it, but this is the general concept so far. These biomass burners and the batteries are doing pretty well. There's still 66 left in this one. It was one of the first ones that I filled. And uh, I've been playing for hours. Next question here as we are building through is, one, how high do I need to make these walls for each section? I need to grab some more materials to build all the other options we have currently. And two, can I build over top of this thing. What's the minimum? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Need to go a lot higher, apparently. Concrete production going way too slow. So, started hooking up two of the things over here. Limestone. This one is actually a normal, so we get 60 per minute rather than 30 per minute. Dividing both of those into a 90 per minute line, which then splits into 45 per minute each on both constructors. So, let's just get this hooked up to power, and then we have a little bit of concrete over towards the new base started. Concept is coming together. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to build these out. I'm still debating on the size of the flooring. I may go 14 wide. This seems like a nice number, nice and even, two blocks in the center. Hopefully centered on this. We are going to build up to have a walkway around the whole center. This is actually going to be all enclosed. Eventually have walls around the outside we can see through. And over here, testing the height of a couple different buildings. I'm going to have the intake floor be three walls high. Because it fits all of our smelters, everything else. I can bring in all of our tools and uh, materials from all of our miners. And everything above that is going to be about four walls high each. Who knows? We're going to get the first level in, see how that feels, and move on from there. <laughs> well, this got real big real quick. Just an update on the build. I'm debating on putting kind of a lip around the outside when we get to the upper factories, since it's going to be one higher for the second level than the first. And I have plans for a centerpiece, which we will get to, but I've built higher than the observation tower, so kind of useless now. 
And as you can see, this is going to be the size of the second level here. It's going to kind of tear its way up and out a little bit. So we have a bit more room on the sides going up. And I need to figure out what I'm doing for the corners. Maybe extra towers, extra space, something design-wise. I have a feeling I'm going to make a giant box again. Just bigger than last time. And this is just a massive sheet. And holy cow, look at that thing from a distance. This is going to be massive. As I'm getting the foundation and structure down, I'm also thinking about how this intake system is going to work. Like, when I bring in ore, what's the best and most efficient way to get it to the next level done and then filtered up to wherever else it needs to go? I know I saw in the ticket shop that we actually have walls that we can connect conveyor belts to, which would be fantastic. Put in the conveyor elevators behind that, and then they go up to whatever floor they need to, depending on the resource. And then with that, they could filter up to one floor, be smelted into all the ingots, filtered up to the next floor, made into iron rods, iron plates. Oh, this is going to be great. I am loving this idea so far. And thinking of those next steps, speaking of the ticket shop, I know that we need a lot more going on. And our duck takes a little while to eat. But uh, let's see how many tickets we actually have created already. That answer is not a lot. We haven't fed the duck many things, so... <laughs> Grab those and see if we can actually get anything to start with. We do have four, so we can get ladders. That'd be helpful. I just saw this. Glass foundations come with this one. That means... Ooh. We're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy it. Continuing to think about future progress of that, I just put in a new item to make some rotors because I've been ignoring some of the upgrade stuff and I'm just gonna send those for now back over into the same storage. Get you power and we should be underway. Well, time to tear out a ton of this place and rebuild it. Like that. Oh, it's beautiful. So we can see our little friend. A friend. Very close by. Big old terrarium vibe that you climb on top of. Putting something in the middle here eventually. And might do some design changes over time. Around kind of the edges, here and there, just to make things a bit... You know, not just one giant glass scape. Perfect timing, big fella. <laughs> just looking at this from underneath and it is it's awesome i love these glass panes two of the base floors complete two little pathways going up i am debating on extending one more on either side it's gonna give us more room but for now oh hello little fly <laughs> for now i want to check out two other things First, I believe by this point we may have enough for the jump pads, which you see up on the top right. And two, I want to finish out the terrarium aspect of this with the glass walls. Well, let's say we have enough rotors. Go ahead and get that done. In just a moment. And we now have jump pads. Did, it, did that just do an actual fist? Reached. Several building. Is that a thing? I gotta check that next time that we unlock something. And number two, how many tickets do we? Seven. Plus the five we already have. That is definitely gonna be enough. Walls. Windowed walls. Add that to the car. Ooh, we could get pillars. You know what? We're gonna get pillars too. Now the question is, out of our four different types of windows, which ones do we want to use? we got our big open windows, right here. We've got kind of the mid-level with a couple of dividers in it. I do kind of like the iron bar look. We've got the way too much iron work windows, which still have their unique value. I do kind of like those. And then we have uh, these, which yeah, I'm not using these down here. I just don't like them. There's going to be the choice between these three. I think... 
for details sake, I may go with these in the middle. Hmm, is it too much? Too much? Do I need to put kind of like a border around the top edge maybe? Close this off, maybe do the same in these corners on top. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. There it goes. Power grid finally shut down. I wonder how much fuel we actually have left. Whoa! That is a lot. Right. Refueled. Restocked. And moving on. Final frame window in. And we have our terrarium. <laughs> this looks awesome. At least I'm enjoying it. I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you think about the windows in the comments. If I should switch them up for something else. But, uh... Ooh. Backing up a little bit. This is great. Uh, this might give us problems later. This guy flies directly above where I'm building. And with how quickly we're going upwards, it's not going to take long until we hit that. <laughs> Uh, we gotta figure that out at some point. What the heck did these get up here? Got more questions for the comments. Which wall is better? I think we can actually repaint this wall, so I might go with that one. Change the color eventually. Uh, that one just kind of stays the same. So, maybe it's for some internal separations, but... Yeah, choice between those two. Probably gonna go with that. Secondly... I tried out the pillars that we just bought. I really don't like the look of them at all. So I'm thinking about going with something like this. And I really like the lattice work in these. So probably going to do that just as part of like a structural quote unquote option. Because we <laughs> can obviously see there is no structural integrity required in these buildings. But I think it's about high time that we build one of the main components of the game. And yep, the space elevator is going to go directly in the center. I think that's going to give us a nice, even roundabout on all the sides. God, this thing is huge. And we're going to let that run its course. This looks amazing at night, but there's lights coming down. Come on. Gotta drop at some point. Jeez. This is massive. And there we have it. Just double check the measurements, move that out another block, and everything is nice and even, direct center of the base. And the reason we're doing this is because we've already gone through all of tier one and tier two upgrades. And to be able to get tier three, we have to first go through 50 smart plating in this. <laughs> Taking a look at this thing from a distance. Wow. This is starting to really come together. I may actually bring this out for a third tier and have that the maximum length. And just have our first tiers down here for all the kind of general items. Smelting, maybe some crafting, but not sure. And I might end up putting a smaller tower on any of the four corners so that we can use that to kind of get up and down between levels a lot easier. Yeah, uh, a lot to do. A lot to do, and I'm probably not going to have enough time in this episode to finish all of it. Back to the smart plating, though. Got a assembler down. Let's see, we need reinforced iron plates and rotors if we need two of each to make two per minute. No, one of each to make one. So I need 50 of each of these. Which, I mean, I have. Mm, how do I feel about that? Hmm. Hmm. No, I, I like how it kind of breaks up just the box, 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 even though it's another box as I continue saying that. Well, I think on ways to approach that, I mainly want to use these side buildings as ways up and down. So the first thing I want to try out 
is these jump pads which go diagonal. So let's uh, see what happens. That... That was sad. What happens here? One. And two. One. Then I get stuck on the top of this, and two. I just realized you can actually angle these. And they go so much higher that way. Before I was just barely getting to this level. Now if I walk on this, I go all the way up here. Oh, that solves my problem. Whee! And back up we go. <laughs> wow. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of my base. Get out of here. That's right. Don't walk through my shit. As much fun as the dropping pods are, let's see how our production is going for the next tier. We got it. Over to the space elevator. And probably to restock the chicken, too. Okay. Throw in all of these smart platings. Seal it. Seal away, buddy. And send it. <laughs> See this thing go. That's neat. It has unlocked tier 3 and tier 4. No. Oh, that's going to solve. Oh, that's going to have to be a next thing. I think with coal, as long as we can find it and mine it, I don't got to refill anything. Dang it. <laughs> There's too much to be able to do. What's in tier four? Mark two miner. Better slots. <gasps> Hypa tubes? And new logistics. God! Let's focus on one thing at a time here, shall we? We have plenty for this. Let's do it. And let's test if that hand goes down this time if I press and hold. No? Hmm. Milestone reached. Alright. Cool, All right, let's also knock out our first level of the nutrients and see what that gets us for the next step. Uh, nutritional mixture, which... Well, that helped. I also got a little bit of quartz. Go ahead and knock out what we need. I can do both. Ilica. And quartz crystal. Quick update on the build. It is coming along. All of the first and second tiers are finished, as far as the walls and all are concerned. Now we just need to start building in our third tier. So... I don't know what happened. Um... I was building, I went to get a look from far away, and I came back and our entire space elevator is now gone. So I guess we gotta build a new one, which means I need to get materials. Right. Right as rain. I'm putting in some walls as well. Hmm, looks like we have some foliage fiascos going on. Gotta have to take care of those. This also looks Gorgeous at night. All the little sparklies and shinies. Mmm. Mmm. Walls are in. We have two full floors built out on all four sides, running into some small problems with the foliage and the miner that we have over on that corner. But the question to you all is, which tower do you like better? The one here, which is going to be expanded out by two additional on each side, I believe, to give us a little bit more room, or the one here? I've been trying to play a little bit with depth and put kind of an indent on each side of this, but I can't really see it too well from a distance. I don't know if it looks good. It also looks like it's kind of floating off the building a little bit, which I like and don't like. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure as of now, but we have our base canvas that we can start using to build out, put new machines in, start getting things into the main base area, and into the space elevator for our next tiers. 
We've also unlocked a couple of things like the jump pads, the biomass sludge factories down here we can fall into, and our coal power, which we're going to have to get up sometime soon. But the main point of today's episode is this gorgeous terrarium right here. I'm loving the windows the more I play. I'm going to leave them in for now. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see or what you think might look a little better, definitely let me know. But for now, I'm going to have to call it for today. I'm out of time for today's episode. We're going to do a little bit more decoration, exploration, and um, maybe moving in. Moving in next time. I'm Corey, otherwise known as Plain and Simple. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.